Good news for all of the ultra woke. For the illegal immigrants and criminal aliens that are entering this country, they can now check off a third gender option, which certainly exists in foreign countries. And let's be real, literally doesn't. This is an American and Western phenomenon that doesn't exist in most of these countries. But rest assured, the Biden administration wants to make sure. OK, let's let's be real. Do you guys uh, see the big story? I think we, we talked about it a bit earlier in the week that Biden, the Biden administration declared March 31st Transgender Day of Visibility Day or whatever they call it. Just so happened to have been Easter as well. But March 31st has been pushed by the woke to be Transgender Day of Visibility or Transgender Visibility Day, which is just like weird because they have Pride Month already. And so there are already tons of days dedicated to pushing the woke ideology. It is certainly a fad, but it is very cult like. Well, the reality was Joe Biden was then asked about it and said, I didn't do that. Yeah, he had no idea what was being done in his name. And this is the reality of what's happening right now. I don't think Joe, I think Joe Biden is a half weekend as weekend at Bernie's type president where he thinks he's the president. And this is really funny. People made this joke about Trump. They said, can we put Trump in like a soundstage and just tell him he's the president, but then go and run the country and then he'll be doing things and thinking he's the president. Yeah. Things were actually pretty good under Trump, but this literally is Joe Biden. They parade him around as a figurehead. And what do you get? The dude doesn't even know what the administration is doing in his name. The deep state is signing off on things that Joe Biden doesn't even know is happening. I do not believe Joe Biden knows that they actually enacted this policy. And I'm willing to bet if you were actually sit down with him and ask, he'd be like, huh? Third gender. What's that? That's right. Third gender. Aliens. Now, if 20 years ago you came uh, to a person and said there will be an alien invasion and there will be three genders among these aliens, <laughs> people would think you're talking about space aliens. President Joe Biden's U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services have revised their application for naturalization to have a third gender option designated by X. Hmm. The application form for naturalization form N-400 has been updated by the USCIS to include a third gender options. Oh, thank heavens. Thank heavens. An announcement online. USCIS wrote is introducing a third gender option defined as another gender identity. Today, we published a new edition of form N-400, the first form to include the X gender option. This option will become available in additional forms as we revise them. Why would literally anyone choose male or female? If you choose X, you then have the option of going either route. Additionally, why would anyone choose M? What does it mean to identify yourself as a male? Oh, boy. Here, uh, this is not financial advice. I am advocating for nothing. But did you know that men pay higher insurance rates? Hmm. I wonder what would happen if you uh, sign up for an insurance company and said, I am not male, I'm female. Because I just so here decided to be. They can't discriminate on the basis of gender identity. I don't know that any forms are required for you to say otherwise, but you'll get cheaper insurance. Let me look this up. This is crazy. Cheaper insurance. Uh, Let's see. Insurance cheaper for women. How women now pay more. Oh, that's interesting. Hey, take a look at this. Unfortunately, the advantage uh, conferred. April Fool's. They posted this on April 1st, for instance. So a lot of people thought it was a joke, but I just Googled it. And according to the zebra, women now pay more for men, more than men in car insurance in 25 states, despite men being riskier. I got to be honest, maybe it actually might be that men realized this and started writing that they were women. And so the insurance companies were like, nah, you can't do that. It's a lot. They say this It's a longstanding practice that ga- that's gaining new attention. And now that California's of January has banned the use of gender in car insurance pricing. I agree with this. It joins Hawaii, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Montana, among states that don't allow it. Gender-based pricing has generally been accepted by government regulators because insurers have have been able to show that male teen drivers are statistically far more likely to crash and file claims than female teens. So they should have to pay more for insurance. But thanks, my friends, to communism, that is no longer the case. California's insurance regulator questioned the rationale last year after finding the price difference between men and women varied widely from location to location and insurer to insurer. Some companies found men more likely to file claims, thus charging them more, while other companies found the opposite. Well, I'm not here to talk just about insurance, but I will mention 
The whole thing is BS. BS. You shouldn't, gender should not play a role <clears throat> at all in insurance rates. It should literally just be, and simply, have you gotten into a crash? You pay more. You didn't, you don't. If men are more likely to get into crashes, there's no reason to make to charge them more in general. They get into a crash, then you increase their rates. Everyone can do it. They were trying to play a dirty game where they could have their cake and eat it too. Well, now, I guess because of the communists, that's being done away with because they don't like that idea. Back to immigration, however, many people were mocking USCIS. It's April Fool's Day for the 1,167th consecutive day. Thanks, Biden. Prior to the Biden administration making the change on the application form, the Biden admin announced in 2021 that it would give more priority to transgender immigrants seeking to cross the border. Kamala Harris also said around the same time that the root cause of immigrants fleeing Guatemala was because of LGBTQ violence. Do you know what this means, my friends? Many of these migrants that are being advised by NGOs will likely start checking off that they are transgender. They will get priority access and they will pass as refugees. That is the reason they're doing this. Let me stress the reason why they added the third gender option is so that criminal aliens can come here, mostly young men, claim that they're non binary and then apply for asylum. You see, the Biden admin wanted to pass this provision <clears throat> in their bill, security bill, that would have given CBP the ability to adjudicate many asylum place, cases. They argued it would speed things up and they'll turn them back. No, they won't. You know what they'll do? The person will come up and say, I I'm non binary. And they'll go, OK, asylum granted. You are a marginalized group. You certainly face persecution at the hands of the people back in your home country. Welcome to America. Here's your green card. Go get a job. You see the machine they're trying to build? That's the game they're playing. So it's not silly. It's not just ridiculous ideology. It is machinations, a mechanism by which they can flood this country with criminal aliens and invaders, displacing and disrupting the black community in Chicago. That's right. I don't know about none of this great replacement stuff. All I know is that the black community in Chicago is furious, saying that they are being replaced by criminal aliens. Well, heavens me, if that's the case, then what Democrats are doing here and with sending all of these criminal aliens all across the country is a detriment to minorities in this country. Now, I suppose the argument could be made that people coming are also Hispanic and Latino or whatever. So it mostly affects the black and white communities. But I think it affects Americans in, 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 in general in whole. People who grew up in this country, even the children of immigrants and even the children of illegal immigrants, will be negatively impacted economically by this massive surge. Democrats will come out with documents saying a massive surge of transgender uh, refugees are coming to the United States. They'll then claim that transgenderism is clearly an issue because we had 3,780 transgender asylees come to this country. Look how many transgender people are fleeing their home countries due to fear of persecution. But it'll be fake. It'll be people exploiting the system to gain, to come to this country, to take from you and your children. Where's your inheritance? That's my warning to Gen Z. You think it's all fun and games, it's all silly. But I think we're going to have to see Gen Z wake up and vote for Donald Trump. The reality is, man, you will not own a house. You will live in the pod. You will eat the bugs. You will own nothing. And you will be happy. You know why you'll be happy? Because it'll pump you full of drugs. Because happiness is just a chemical state, right? Blank slate. You can be whatever they tell you to be. Harry Tubman said, I freed many slaves. I would have freed many more if only they knew they were slaves. How many young people will be born into this machine, not realizing that freedom exists and a better life is possible, but they'll be trapped in this grind, in this machine, not realizing that people like Joe Biden burned their homes to the ground. And for what? Seriously, for what? Honestly, I don't know. Malthusian ideology, fears of overpopulation and climate change. Maybe it could be something as grandiose and more exciting as aliens made them do it. I'd be much more excited about that, I guess. It's, a, it's like three body problem. Aliens could have already come here and taken over and we wouldn't even know. And uh, yeah, only that would be more exciting, I guess. The reality is you have corrupt people who believe they're right. 
And because they think they're right, they think they should be in charge of your life. And they don't want you to inherit a home. They don't want you to inherit wealth. Equity means cutting off the tall grass. And that means you, America. That means they want to strip the Americans of their wealth to balance out the global economy. Let everyone be equal. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 4 p.m. on this channel. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all then.